Lucas Pam Bamba here for PSP Sports with Dylan White versus Lucas Pam press conference here today in London. Happy to be joined by Eddie Hearn. Eddie, thank you for your time. Firstly, what's your reaction to the press conference? Very good. Controversial. A few choice words. Uh, everybody escaped unharmed, which was the uh, most important thing. Just a really good fight. You know, I know there's bad blood, I know there's rivalry, but it's a really good heavyweight fight. I think outside of the uh, yeah, the, the world champions right now. I think this is the biggest fight in the division. So, um, yeah, looking forward to March 24th. How much do you believe the sort of mind games of rivalry will actually play a factor on the night, if, if at all? Uh, I think both guys are experienced enough not to lose their head. I mean, sometimes you get a rivalry like, I don't know, Cody Chamberlain. Well, that's fun because you've got two guys who've never been in that kind of situation before. Anything can happen. Um, I think here, Lucas and Dillian are both very experienced, so I don't see that they're going to lose their head. They're going to they're going to have a game plan that I expect them to stick to. But I think it will be explosive because Lucas Brown is dangerous. Dillian White is dangerous. Uh, Lucas Brown is very hard, um, and they both have great stamina. And I think it's going to be a terror. Firstly, how easy or hard was it to make this fight? And secondly, what will be the key factors that will define this fight? fight back? Uh, it was tough because both guys have got a lot to lose and it was also tough because Lucas Brown is a lawyer in America, promoter in Britain and he's in Australia. So it's like I have to get cleared with everybody and sometimes it takes two or three days to go through that process. So um, I think mainly both, both guys didn't have to take this fight. You know, Dillian's number one in the WBC so he could have just stood there and waited for his mandatory to come. But he wants to be in real fights and you know, Dillian's boxed on the undercard for AJ on quite a few, and I want him to be his own standout star, so it was important for him to do this at the O2. What have you got mucked up doing this year, supposedly? I think he wants to fight, he should fight for a world title if he beats Lucas Brown. You know, that could be Parker, if he beats Joshua, it could be Joshua, who wants to fight with Gillian White. Um, it could be Deontay Wilder, but ultimately, that's one of the reasons I wanted him to have his own show, because, um, you know, I want him to be a standout star. What they want to ask about that Joshua White fight, it's not often that you get a fighter such as, for example, Joshua, who beats someone yeah. and then says that they don't want to fight them again. He does because he enjoyed it and he wants it again. He thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, he wants to beat Gillian White again. And you're right, you know, but that's the fight that he always seems to say. You know, he always mentions White probably first. Yeah. And he mentions Fury and he mentions Wilder. So, um, but he's got a job to beat Parker, obviously, first on the 31st month. Leads me perfectly on to my next question. You're with uh, Joseph Parker and his team on Monday at the hotel doing it, uh, interviews with them was well, yeah. Tuesday. Um, right, so now it's was done, it's, it's official. Looking back on negotiations, how would you assess them? Because it was quite a public negotiation, wasn't it? Yeah, it was difficult again with the, with the time zones as well. It's not easy. I was in the Caribbean at one point, Higgins was in New Zealand, it was like 14 hours apart. Yeah. Um, you know, David Higgins, you know, you, you've interviewed him, he's, he's a um, quirky guy, but a good businessman, he knows what he's doing. And he, he got a good deal for Parker, I believe we got a good deal for Joshua. Um, it just took time because there's so much on the line. Both guys had a lot of options and it's a unification fight with, with a lot of money involved. So these things take time and we're glad to get over the line. What did you make of, I know you had a little thing with David Higgins at the press conference, you said don't let your bum deceive you, yeah, now yeah. you're five feet away. So what did you make of the press conference come back? Uh, I wish Higgins would have carried on his, his um, preamble from negotiations, but you know, there is the business side to David Higgins as well. You know, he did a lot of talking, he did a good job to make the fight bigger and get Parker's name out there. But also, you know, he, he's a businessman at the same time. He can't always be a joker. So I just wanted him to say it to AJ's face, you know. But uh, I'm sure that'll happen in the build-up. When the fight happens, I know Dave said a lot about Joshua's chin, etc., stuff like that. Um, mentally weaker, mentally stronger. What will be the key factors on fight night with Joshua Parker? Um, ability, skill, speed, power. It's a great fight. Two undefeated, fast, big punching heavyweight world champions. How often does that happen? You know, it's the perfect fight for both of them. And both guys have a, have a shot in this fight. I think Joshua's the favourite. Big, big game experience, big fight experience. I believe a better fighter all round. But Parker is, you know, he has good movement against the right style. And I think this is a style that will suit Parker. And I think it'll be a shootout. <coughs> With the rematch calls being in place, um, what was the actual reason for that? Is it just in case a cut happens? No, it's, like to, it's to lure Joseph Parker into taking the fight. Because if he wins the fight, he makes a payday that you could never ever dream of. And he becomes the biggest star in world boxing. So the, the rematch schools is not a safety net for Anthony Joshua. Mm. It's, it's a bonus for Joseph Parker to show him that if you win, this is what is in front of you. Wilder as well, the hashtag was hashtag road to undisputed. Mm. So I'm sure you have an arm Wilder. Is that a potential fight as well? Yeah, he really really wants all the belts. So you know, it's very important for him to um, get every belt. And it could be Wilder, it could be Ortiz. 
we'll have to wait and see. Mayor Connor's all next week. I hope the under Yeah, Tuesday we announce the opponent and uh, the card. So very excited about that. It's had a great response and uh, Kelbrook tomorrow in Sheffield. And then Amir on Tuesday. Any clues on potential opponent with There's Connor? loads of guys, loads of guys. Probably a dozen guys sent to Virgil, so hoping to choose one tomorrow. And Kelbrook tomorrow as well as you mentioned? Yeah, it's a tough fight against Rabchenko. Good to see him at 154 and um, that's a real fight. Any other news finally? I know you watch you off. Um, no, all good. We had a great start to the year yep. and uh, plenty in the pipeline, plenty being worked on. Some big announcements next week. Top man, thank Cheers, you for your mate. time. Thank you. Cheers.